Now to the sexual assault scandal rocking the University of Virginia. Student leaders are speaking out about the culture on campus and claim the school looked the other way as more alleged victims are coming forward. ABC's Lindsay Davis has that story for us. This morning, the so-called rape culture on UVA's campus, described in that now infamous Rolling Stone article, is giving way to a rallying cry from students. Enough passivity. And more alleged victims breaking their silence. We definitely need to reevaluate how we're punishing the perpetrators. In the shadow of the fraternity house where a UVA junior told Rolling Stone she was raped in 2012, we met up with another UVA student, Alex, who told us she too was raped just last year and reported it to the university. We went to informal trial and ultimately he got um, recommendations for therapy and also to different conferences for masculinity and gender violence education. So he raped you and that was his punishment? Yes. Jackie, the subject of the Rolling Stone expose, and Alex's friend tells a similar story. And while she eventually reported the alleged attack to administrators last year, the university did not ask police to open an investigation into her claims until the article was published last week. Jackie says the university did present her with several options, including an informal hearing where the perpetrator has the opportunity to come clean. I feel like if a person is willing to come forward in that setting and admit that they violated the policy, that that does deserve some consideration. In an interview taped before the Rolling Stone article, but which has just now surfaced, the dean who chairs the school's sexual misconduct board admits even students who have admitted their guilt to the board's panel with regard to sexual misconduct have not been expelled. That they're willing to see, say that I've done something wrong and I recognize that and I'm willing to take my licks and deal with it, that, that's very important to me. The university did not return our calls requesting comment. One UVA grant has published a petition on change.org calling on administrators to make expulsion the mandatory penalty for sexual violence. An emergency board meeting is scheduled to take place today at noon to discuss school policies and procedures. Robin. All right, Lindsay, thank you very much. An issue that's not just being discussed at UVA, but in colleges all across the country. So thank you for that, Lindsay.